Welcome to the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast, where we talk all things Freemasons while drinking an old fashioned. I'm Brian, and today, Masons, we're going to talk about something that's a little more serious. Several of the topics that we talk about, we add a little bit of levity and our own spin on things. Uh, this channel's not for everyone, um, but we figure some of the maybe sensational thumbnails or titles draw people that aren't Masons in as a hook. Even if they're looking to say, ah, wonder what they have to say, they can see the actual spin of the version. So I know there's some folks out there that don't like uh, some of the sensationalized hooks, but you know anybody that knows marketing, if you click on it, it works. But that's not the conversation here. We're here to talk about the attack on the physical assets of masonry and our members. Later in the episode, we'll show you some clips from the last 12 to 18 months of up to eight Masonic lodges that have been uh, under the attack of arson, some burnt to the ground. That's uh, very concerning. Um, a lot of uh, the anti-Masonic sentiment is going out there. Uh, some people believe that we're a religion, and as much as we try to tell non-Masons that we're not a religion, you know, we get comments, oh, that's what we expect you to say. If you ever just look at the comments on some of the videos, it's very enlightening um, from the standpoint of what people really think masonry is in their eyes. And no matter what we try to uh, tell the non-Masons, especially if there's some sort of a conspiracy theorist, it just seems to fall upon deaf ears. So because of that, brothers, uh, again, because of the uh, news clips that we'll share later about some actual Masonic lodges being burnt down, um, I think we need to be a little more diligent on um, the security around our lodges, uh, cameras and whatnot. Now, listen, it won't stop a fire, but in many of these instances, the cameras have caught the suspect, which at the end of the day, if you can't prevent it, you might as well be able to stop it from happening in the future with an arrest, right? Uh, the other thing, uh, because unfortunately we had a, a brother uh, murdered outside of uh, his lodge in McAllen, Texas, I think we want to also be diligent on lighting and leaving in pairs. Uh, it's just kind of the basic thing. But more than that, we need to be a little more open to discussion. I'm quite certain Now, this is for the uh, folks that subscribe to this channel that aren't Masons, that they just uh, want to bash us and they're conspiracy theorists. If you really have questions about Masonry, believe it or not, I'll, I'll speak for me. If you were to say, I want to see your lodge and what's going on. I would be happy to give you a tour. Now, obviously, you're not going to sit in at a tile meeting. No difference is you're not going to sit in on a board meeting for Walmart if you're not a board member. It's no different, right? But we have, we're actually excited to show off our lodge rooms, uh, some of the history of masonry and talk it through. Believe it or not, uh, we did a, a short on the, our Masonic Bible, and somebody said, well, you didn't show the first 33 pages. That's where all the, the uh, hidden allegory is. No, it's not. Buy a Masonic Bible online or reach out to us and come and look. I'll, I'll show you mine. Open it up. Look at it. Walk through. I think that Masons, we need to be a little more open to discuss with folks we just don't agree with, especially with the way they feel about masonry. And those that are masons that have some sort of ax to grind, come talk to us. But attacking our physical assets, but more importantly, attacking our members, that doesn't make any mason want to talk to anyone else. In fact, it puts us on the defensive. So you know, as, as just good human beings, non-Masons especially, reach out to a Mason. We'd be happy to give you a tour of our lodge. And Masons, I know, comment in the section if you think I'm dead wrong or say, hey, I'm at Lodge XYZ. If somebody's in this area, I'd be happy to give you a tour as well. But the clips afterwards I want you to see are just horrific to the attacks on Masonry and brothers, we need to uh, we need to be very diligent about again 
cameras, lighting, and moving in at least pairs um, when it pertains to our lodge, shrine centers, Scottish Rite, York Rite centers, any Masonic buildings. So thanks for watching the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast, but stay tuned here. We've got clips to follow that will blow your mind. Thanks. New here at noon, the El Paso Fire Department is now investigating a fire in downtown El Paso at the Scottish Rite Temple that is close to Southwest University Park. El Paso Fire confirming that the fire they believe was deliberately set. El Paso firefighters once again responding to a fire on Missouri Avenue around 1 o'clock this morning. The El Paso Scottish Rite Facebook page posted photos of the uh, damage there to their building, saying they believe that an arsonist broke into the side door and entered carrying gasoline cans, setting the fire in the lobby. El Paso fire crews did manage to knock down the fire shortly before two this morning. No injuries were reported, but the fire department is still investigating the cause of the fire at this time. As always, if you have any information on the incident, the fire marshal's office is urging you to call the number here on your screen. The police are investigating after somebody set a Masonic Lodge on fire and vandalized it. It happened at the Chattanooga Masonic Center on West 21st Street shortly after 2 this morning. Firefighters arrived to the front of the building in flames. The vandals even left the front doors open. Crews also found another small fire inside, but the sprinkler system was able to put that one out. Firefighters say the building had damage from the fire, water, and vandalism. If you have any information, contact Chattanooga Police. You don't have to give your name. Firefighters struggled to control this blaze in a building housing a Masonic Lodge and some businesses. This man had to flee his office in a neighboring building. I came out, it was just kind of smoke, but then it went up and up. Uh, currently, the, the fire is deemed to be suspicious, yes. Minutes earlier, at another Masonic Hall, another suspicious fire. The first was here, on Vancouver's North Shore. The second, nearby, within minutes of the first blaze. About 30 minutes later, one more, this time in Vancouver. That's where an eyewitness spotted this. He just set the field building on fire. He's getting into a black van. This video posted to social media shows a man carrying a gas can. Then, a police officer arrives. There's a cop here. He pulls a gun on the suspect. The man ignores the officer's orders. They are fighting. They are fighting right now. Yeah. Eventually, the man fights off the officer and drives away. He went down East 29th Avenue on the west side, down westward. Yes. Vancouver police said the officer in the video was off duty when he tried to make the arrest. As for the, the centers being targeted, that's, I, I'm not aware of any um, specific threats or any past threats. They aren't confirming a 42-year-old man later taken into custody was the one shown in the video. But an investigation spanning multiple jurisdictions is looking at why Masonic lodges were apparently targeted. An arson investigation is underway right now in Ellington after police say a man set a Masonic Lodge on fire early Saturday morning. Yeah, Channel 3's Marcy Jones is live now right outside of the building where it all took place on Orchard Street. Marcy, what is the focus on the of the investigation now? Good morning, Roger, Nicole, and everybody at home. The focus of the investigation right now is really on catching the suspect that they believe set fire to this lodge, and police say that they have a very good visual of who this is. Just before 9.45 Saturday morning, firefighters were called to 141 Orchard Street for a possible structure fire. When they arrived, they were quickly able to extinguish the blaze. Thankfully, no one was inside of the lodge at the time, and there were no injuries reported of firefighters. Now, police say they're focusing their efforts on this individual, seen on surveillance in dark clothes and a black knit hat. For context, this isn't the first time the lodge has been attacked. Back in December, a brick was thrown through a window and less than a week later, a rock was thrown through another window. The president of the organization says he's not sure why the lodge has been targeted. Our whole goal is just to be good citizens, help the community, um, to make our members better than they were when they first joined. It's bizarre. It's obviously someone that, uh, that, that has issues or a grudge against our lodge for reasons we can't even fathom. 
22-year-old is facing arson charges tonight, accused of setting fire to the Leesburg Masonic Lodge. So he told police he was mad at what it stood for. The fire happened last Wednesday at the Fraternal Organization's building along Ritchie Road in Leesburg. News 6's Catherine Silver is live in Lake County tonight. So Catherine, you got your hands on that arrest report. And that report says that Luke Pratt kept journals detailing his dislike for the Masonic Lodge. Investigators say that he admitted he smashed the front door and then doused the inside of this building with gasoline last week. What's left now is a total loss. The closer you get to the Leesburg Masonic Lodge, the clearer the damage becomes. The best view of the building is from above, a vantage point of the pieces left years of history lost. It just looks like total devastation. Detectives in Lake County say it's an act of arson. They arrested 22 year old Luke Pratt Thursday. Documents detail how he allegedly watched everyone exit the building from this parking lot across the street on June 14th. An arrest report obtained by News 6 says he used matches to start the fire and returned to the scene minutes later to make sure it was still burning. It was still smoldering a couple of days later. Anthony Winter works nearby. And the investigator came by and asked if our cameras had caught anything potentially. According to the arrest report, Pratt was caught on camera at the lodge with a gas can and baseball bat. Deputies say his own mother identified him in that surveillance video and he later told detectives what he did over the phone. And that report also says that his mother is the one who led law enforcement to their suspect. The documents say that Pratt mentioned starting the fire to her at dinner one night. He is now facing arson and burglary charges. I'm live in Leesburg. Catherine Silver getting results. News 6. The shirt worn during this episode was provided by MasonGearShop.com, where all Freemasons shop.